Welcome to um, Garnet Rose Stitchers. Yes. This is floss tube number 15. Um, today is February 21st. I even wrote it. 2024. And thank you. And as you can see, I'm reading it because I'm like, what's today? <laughs> That's a whole year's already just blending together. It's great. It's great. So, What's your name? I don't remember. I'm Jeanette. <laughs> I'm Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and here we are. Here we are. It's it's been it's been fun. It's been a minute. Um, it's been um a hectic little minute since we last saw you last. And um in our last video we talked about, you know, like market and how I'm the person that does all the purchasing and she's the man. Yeah. So yeah, this woman doesn't sleep. Uh, <laughs> but it's next week. Yeah. I'm so excited. Market is next week. And yes, I'm counting the minutes. I can't wait. Yes. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. It's okay. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for, for the designers, it's a lot of work for all the shops that attend market, like beforehand and during the show. Mm -hmm. And then after the show it's a lot of work for the shops yeah for the designers it's a lot of like preparing beforehand is a lot of work stitching the models and getting them ready oh yeah and then at the market like dealing with all of us going we want all your stuff like yeah. that yeah hundreds of and seeing people like throwing owners. elbows like yeah my There's way. none of that everybody's good just saying <laughs> i don't have you had an experience <clears throat> All right, so let's just, let's have story time real quick, okay? I want to well, know. Well, what well. am I in for? So that's why I'm going to the fabric room first. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't. I got you. Okay. I don't throw elbows. I might punch people in the throat or something, but. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. No, but no, for reals though, like, how it usually works is Friday night is when the fabric people have a majority of their sales. Sure. Because if you don't get fabric on Friday night, you're not getting fabric. Right. Period. It'd be sold out by Saturday afternoon. Oh, no. It'll be sold out Friday night. Wow. Legit. Wow. That's crazy. That is just... I can't even... I don't even know how they make enough fabric to... That's exactly the point. I see. So, like... Because that's hundreds of yards of fabric. Yes. And if you don't pre-order fabric with the dyers that are going to be there you might not come home with fabric with anything period damn so i placed two different no three no i don't know <laughs> pre-orders i did pre-orders it's all sounding the same at this point so. um <laughs> but that's not meaning that i'm not gonna buy more when i'm in the room mm -hmm. because that's happening yeah so the reason why I say throwing elbows is because, like, literally, like, outside of hand-dyed fabrics by Stephanie, there will be a line mm. that will go, like, the entire, like, way down, like, the, the thing. So, yeah. so, it's in a Marriott, whatever, I forget what it's called, like, it's a Marriott. But the room's around the perimeter. Yeah, so it's like a hollowed out building basically mm -hmm. is what be, best way to describe it where all of the rooms are on the outside perimeter of the building and mm -hmm. the inside is literally hollow. So you can like go to the balcony of where the rooms are and look down and it's just, Into the and it's like the atrium. The hotel, it's yeah. like the, and, and there's like a fountain and that's where the hotel restaurant is and the front desk and then it leads off to like other rooms. So... Yeah, so you have to literally line up like outside of their suite mm -hmm. to get a place and to like be able to go in. And their they rooms only, are their shops. Yes, okay. and they have only one like they, they will let in like probably one to two people, one to two shops at a time. So it's not super. So that people aren't <laughs> throwing yeah. elbows and literally grabbing. If you've ever been to a retreat. Where, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. If you've ever been to a retreat where there is like a dyer of fabric, mm -hmm. one, you will see people, grown women. Here, this is the fabric. Hold it. 
Okay, this she already had this I'm yard of fabric. My fabric, I bought it. No, ah, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, they do that. That is real life. It's okay, crazy. which is bunk. Okay, don't do that if you ever are in that situation. Just don't be that person. It's terrible. Anyways, and I'm not saying that shop owners are gonna do that, but like they are trying really hard to please their customers, so they want to make sure that they get as much stuff as possible, and in the counts of fabric they want mm -hmm. because not every shop is like ours where everyone stitches on everything. Right. Right. They have only linen stitchers. So they need to get all the counts of linen, mm -hmm. you know, and then I come in there first and take all the 36 and they're pissed because <laughs> I took all the 36, but Hey, it's, that's why you have to wait in line. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. And th this year made it really interesting because like last year, Maggie was at a fabric place and I was at Paulette Stewart's room because mm. she didn't allow pre-orders last year for like a reason. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so I had to make sure I got all the charts because she sells out. Of course she does. So I was number two in line. Nice. Yeah. And then the year before that, I was number two in the Blackbird design line. I don't Saturday even know morning. what charts she has this year. I got to look. Oh, I, okay. I wondered. I was going to ask. She's not there mm -hmm. this year? No. No Blackbird? She, they don't. She doesn't do that anymore. Oh, well, I can't blame her. Yeah, it's cool. Um, it's. I think <clears throat> it took the stuffing out when Barb died, so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, I get it. But anyway, so what the whole story is, is that it wasn't last year, but the year before, Maggie and I went together on Friday night. Because we were like trying to figure out what room do we want to go to. But there was already a huge ass line in front of hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. So I was like, hey, Be Stitch Me has nobody. So, oh, so there's I one, there's there. literally one person because nobody knew who she was yet. That's right. Because it was her first year at market. She only had dyed. I forget she's such a new Oh my dyer. gosh. She only had like minimal fabric. Wow. She probably wasn't prepared. She didn't know what or to expect. She didn't know what to expect. That's what I mean. You know, she didn't know she didn't know what people would want or if anyone would even want to buy her fabric. And I'm like, homegirl, everyone wants your fabric. <laughs> okay. So, like, literally, we had the one person in front of us. And then Maggie and I went in. Because mm. it was like, they allow one person to go and look at fabric. And then when that person is checking out, then the next person can come in right, and look right. at fabric. Mm -hmm. So that person was checking out. So then Maggie and I went in there and we were literally grabbing like, like boatloads. You guys loads. had so much good fabric. It was so good. It was like so much fabric. So good. And it was like, <laughs> and, she, and I, the lady behind us, are you saving any for us? And I was like, I swear there's some counts left. I swear, I promise. <laughs> I didn't, wasn't, I took hey, all, I, you I did didn't, you gotta do. I didn't take all the 36 count, but there was another person who went ahead of me. Oh. Right? So she was in there first taking what she needed. That's right. Out of the colors that was brought. And she didn't do pre-orders that year? Mm-mm. Ah. Because, I don't know why. She, probably because she didn't, like I she, said, she, she uh, didn't know what to expect. Well, and there's so. also like, you know, there's, that's a lot of stress for pre-order people, like for fabric yeah. dyers, because they have to have enough time in advance to dye what is ordered. So, like, if they get slammed and they're like, oh, my gosh. I need 80 every... yards of 36 count in just this one color. Yeah, right? Which I would try. Oh actually, gosh. it's in the words that are used when you get the emails from people is hundreds of yards are going to be available. Uh-huh. Because that's what they die. Yeah. So, anyways. So, there's that. So, that's that fun little story. <laughs> the lady was, like, kind of pissed little behind us because tangent. we... We, I think that we took the 18, because she had Ada, and we have a lot of Ada stitchers mm -hmm, in our okay. shop. So I was like, Maggie, we got to get this. And she's like, you're right. And I'm like, I know. So there you go. So I got, I grabbed a lot of counts that the lady behind me wanted. I can't wait to see what they have this year. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. It's going to be so awesome. It, it is kind of cutthroat, but you kind of have to be a little bit, and just so everyone's aware... I can be cut through it when I need to be. Mm -hmm. That's why I go. <laughs> I love there everybody, you. but there you go. If you mess with my family or my friends, uh huh. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, all right. So total <laughs> tangent. It's because she asked the question. <laughs> I did. Nine minutes I in. Do that. No, I I'm swear we're here for cross stitch. Yeah, I we, promise. That was cross stitch. 
Yeah. It was like a little... A little, little insight into the... Inside you know, scoop. Yeah. What do they call that inside baseball? It's like... Something, know, yeah. Back, you know, stuff. That, anyways. So, um, yeah. So, thanks for everybody who has subscribed since the mm -hmm. last video. Um, we are more than what we were then. Um, I don't even know. I didn't even check before here. Before I this. forgot to look, but it's, like it's, it's quite, it's, it's over a thousand. <clears throat> it's over a thousand and I, shoot, I don't even know. And we're recording on my phone. So <laughs> I could look it up. You could, if you want here, but I'll look it up. Well, it's our, it's our one on February 6th is when we posted our first floss tube. So we have it. We have passed our floss tube one year anniversary. And can you believe it? A year? We've been doing I know. this a year? I know. Wow. I know. Look how cool we are. 1184. 1184. Hmm. That's how Almost many subscribers. 1200 subscribers. Which is so that's pretty cool. Really awesome. So if you yeah. are a subscriber, and if you're not, then you totally should be. So hit the subscribe button and mm -hmm. the bell so you know when we post. And then you can be all in on the inside scoops. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, and I'm if I sound that. froggy, it's because my <clears throat> four-year-old coughed in my face. Yeah, thanks. Kids are fun. It's it's great. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't have time for this. I'm still getting over mine. It's been like six weeks. I know, it's bunk. Anyway. I hate getting sick. Anyway. So if anyway. you're if you are a subscriber, um, you will have the opportunity to um enter for a giveaway. Mm-hmm. Our so, one-year anniversary giveaway. Yeah, so you can stay tuned toward the end of the video for the details on that. Mm -hmm. And it will have to do with new releases for market. Yeah, it'll be fun. Because guess who's going? I know. I can't believe it. So we get to see cool stuff and yes. maybe get some cool stuff for you. So, any whoosies. All right. So we got some whips. Mm -hmm. Not very many. So no. I think between her and I, we've been so ridiculously busy with other stuff <laughs> i've done hardly any stitching the last few weeks. i'm already at 30 hours this week and it's wednesday with work yeah so. yeah so work's been crazy and we're moving and so yeah. that's been crazy and the weekend we spent the entire weekend cleaning the new house yeah from top to bottom and that took like forever and anyway so it's been a thing but it's fine it's fine because once that's all done then i get to totally relax yes so. So what you got going on, girlfriend? Okay, so um, Amy, Stitching and Adventures on YouTube. I probably oh. said her mm -hmm. boss tube name wrong. Sorry, I'm gonna put it there. Okay, I'm also tired because working, mm -hmm. and I haven't really had a day off for need a vacation since like February. Nope, since January. Dang, I think I had one day off, and that was Sunday because <clears throat> I didn't feel good. And I laid in bed all day. Oh, dang. So it's not really a day off because it wasn't anything fun. Right. So anyways, we started this, um, we started a sal. So if you are interested in doing a sal with us, um, hands-on design and, I just dropped something. Don't know what it was. <laughs> hands-on design and Summer House Stitch Works a couple years ago did mm -hmm. a, like a, a French, it's called the French Kids. French kitchen and it was five charts and um Amy is stitching this one here Cute. and I am stitching this one which is the box that holds these and um oh that's right you stitch the outside and then there's a little wooden box that you put all of the no you finish a box well See? yeah that's what I mean yeah so you finish it and I have the charms and I have all the stuff for it I even so have cool. the board for this yeah, that's super cool. So, um, do you guys have hashtag? Yeah, it's hashtag the French Kitchen Sal. I love it. Because I was going to try and be like fancy and do it like cuisine francais, but I don't speak French. <laughs> so, let's just not. You know what I think I lost? I, I wouldn't even try. Here, it? there it is. I need this. This has what my fabric is. Oh, yes. It's important. Um, so, I'm stitching mine on 32 count fawn by Picture This Plus. Mm -hmm. And I am stitching. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I am stitching the um, the box first. And I started in the center. Oh, so she's like right Yeah, here. right there. I got you. Yeah. So, and it's a, it's a sideways picture. So, you can't really see it very well. But that's as far as I got. It's and start. then um, I think I started this. Don't like, lose your needle though. It's cool. Okay, cool. These are um, those, 
what are those called? Those magnetic tie things. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Which I saw a hack for these for if you use scroll rods. And I was like, what? So I tried it and it's amazing. Basically you take these and you use these as like tension rods for the sides. <gasps> Seriously? And it oh, wow. freaking works. It and works. I was like, that's, that's awesome. brilliant. All right. And it totally worked and I was so excited. I so, apologize, we lost our oh, did camera it die? light, it died. It, that thing has the worst charge. It's cool. I charge it every time before we come. Yeah, I even had, this is how long it is. I had to tape it, see? Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, so anyhow, that's <clears throat> that whip. Okay. Do you have another whip? I have a whip, yes. Well, actually, it's technically <clears throat> a new start. Um, that was a new start. And then I have a couple for whip go. Okay, yeah, I have but, um, my two whip goes. My whip go this month has been, I barely got stuff done. Um, uh oh. Did you forget things? Nope, I got it. I just couldn't find it. It's fine. Okay. We're good. So, my sister in law and I are working on this awesome, it's an old prairie schooler. So, it's Christmas Village. Um, and I've been wanting, I've had this in my stash for, it's, it's the newer reprint. I don't have the original sad. one. Sad. Which is really sad. It's on my list. To it's track down? To track down on eBay or something. Are these your favorites? Yes. <laughs> they are. <laughs> We're going to share what our Nashville favorites okay. are. But yeah, here's my start. Oh, cute. Oh, oh, is that what you needed that fabric for? Yes. So she dyed this fabric. It's totally blowing out in my horrible lighting. That's okay. So this You is, can send me a picture. This is my, um, my start. So I did the border and thank heavens it connected. Yes. Um, and I started with the trees and stuff. But this is um, white opalescent, 32 count white opalescent. Lugana? Or? Lugana. Okay. Um, it's an even weave. Um, okay. And I got it from 123 Stitch because I wanted to over dye it myself. Mm -hmm. And so I just got a, a white. Yeah. And then I rip dyed it in cocoa and forest green, I think. Which it seems like a really weird combination yeah. because what I wanted was kind of like this, this cool brown color, but the cocoa was like pink. I'm like, cocoa is brown. It's not pink. But when I dyed the fabric, it turned out pink. And so I threw it in. It actually worked out well. Though. It worked. That's why I added in the green and the green made it more brown. So you're going to send me a picture of what oh, it well. actually looks like because the, like we're, we're in my house. And if you're not, if you're new here, the lighting in here sucks. Lighting is hard anyway. It the only time is. it's good is when we're at your house in your room. Yeah, hopefully the new place, oh, the new place has big old windows, so it should be good. But anyway, Yay. so it is opalescent. So, you can, oh, you can see it a little bit in there. A little bit of that sparkliness in there. So anyway, this one's really fun. Um, and I'm using all the called for colors. It's just DMC. So, um, but yeah. I have to say, though, it's interesting because after I dyed it, it was 32 count. It's now closer to, like, 36. Well, so. yeah, because it was probably hot, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you threw sure. it in the oven, right? No. This one I did. Yeah, so. But just at, like, 200. But it still shrinks it. It does. Yeah. So, anyway. Anyway. Okay, so my next whip I don't have with me because it's a finish. It was a quilt um, that I showed a snippet of in the last oh, yeah. um, video. It's this quilt kit, Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy. I'll actually... Do you have a photo? I hope so. I Sometimes when it's for sh the shop, I get it done and just take it over to the store <laughs> and not take a picture, which mm -hmm. is dumb. Um, but anyway, get you in the habit of doing it, it turned out really cute. It's really and cute. And it's actually really... It's not cute. It's pretty. Yes, it's that's pretty. better. Yes, it's yeah. not cute. It's pretty. Yeah, and um, I quilted it uh, free motion quilting with um, like different flower motifs. So, um, like a swirl flower where it mm -hmm. like goes in on itself and then petals out. Mm -hmm. And then another one is um, I call it like a rose, and it's the same idea where you where you swirl in and you alternate which way you're swirling. Oh, uh huh. So it doesn't look like everything's going like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. But you swirl in and then instead of doing petals like this, like a daisy, you do like a sw like a squiggly swirl like this. You have to see if we'll and get it your looks picture. and it looks like um like an English rose. Oh, cool. Like cuz now they're like fluffy and they have like mm -hmm. no it, it just looks like a pillow. A pillow of smelling good. <laughs> <A> pillow. <laughs> You're welcome. 
I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means good. either. I don't know. I just it work here. Good. Um, and then, so that was something I finished and I'll, if I have a picture, I'll insert that. But, mm -hmm. and then, but my first whip go was Geisha Beauty. Yay. And Jesse has not called the new numbers yet, so I have no clue what the next numbers are. Oh, that's right. It's, it's almost, almost time. Almost time. I'm glad that she didn't. I'm not ready. Oh, sad. I know. <laughs> well, I'm what is happening? Everything's attaching. It's magnets. You got magnets everywhere. This is lame. <laughs> it's like we're new. <laughs> okay. So this is how far I got to. Oh, she's pretty. So... Far away, you can see. I haven't done any of the back stitch yet, but um, basically what I worked on this time was I got this part of, you can see here, like on the red part right here, this is the, um, the umbrella. Mm -hmm. So that's what I started doing. And then I worked into her flowers in her hair. Love it. That's how far I got on it. And I, the beginning part of the month, it was a lot easier to do my daily 30 and not feel like I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. So she got more days than my second whip go, which That's I'll good. show you after Jeanette's done. Awesome. Yeah. So this is Geisha Beauty by Dimensions Gold Petite. Yeah, she's beautiful. Really pretty. And this is stitched on 18 <clears throat> count kit ivory Ada. Oh, that's right. It came in the kit. Yes. yes. That's why I like kits because it comes with everything. I love it. Your turn. I'm loving it. Okay, cool. So, um, my whip go pull this, this for February was 12 days of Christmas and Mirabilia, which mm -hmm. I haven't even, I haven't even had time to pull out. So, um, I worked on a little bit more, I actually have two, but I worked on a little bit more of my, um, this guy, these little guys here from Cross Stitcher Magazine. Um, and this is the December, 2022 issue. Oh, here's a good picture on the back. Oh, there you go. Here, here's another one. Ta-da! These little guys. So this is um. Twenty count. Three. Uh, yeah. Well, this is twenty count. Uh, white opalescent. Um, and there's my little guy. Is that four calling birds? This is yes, four calling birds. Cause yeah, because I have the, the first three in. done. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, this is my four calling birds. Is that like pink? It's like pink Ada. No, it's just white. You sure? Yeah, positive positive but yeah it's got a little sparkle in it so anyway but this is um 20 count so it's super nice and tight mm -hmm. and uh, it's really fun so yeah i get i did that one and i'm working on another one too are you gonna show it or? i can yeah so i other, mean we all want to see it the other one is a <clears throat> hold on i promise i'm organized shannon christine so this is um from her 2022 christmas club which is why you needed the other fabric. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So this one was interesting, though, because she's got beads in here. Mm. Um, I actually started beading, and then I had to tear the beads out. Because after I dyed my fabric, I realized that my 32 was now 36 count. Oh, so you need, and like, And so the regular the seed beads. beads didn't work. And so I had to tear them oh up. Oh, my gosh. That's so pretty. So, But she's oh. it's turning out really, really pretty. So Jeanette dyed this fabric as well. I did, and it's really hard to see the true color in here, but this was a white opalescent. This is a 32 count white opalescent that I um, rip dyed also, and it's like teal and so this is green apple or something. So, um, wow. but yeah, it's really fun, but I had to tear the beads out. So is it basically done? You just have the background? I have the white. The white background <clears throat> and doodad and mm -hmm. like the back stitch. Yep. Yeah, so there's just a little bit left on there. That's gorgeous. So Look at those beads. Can you see them? Yeah. Sort of. You can, so She likes bling. I do like bling. Bling, bling. Oh, that's the other thing, too. So in the pattern, it's really hard to see here. Let me try. We'll try. So in here, I don't know if you can see them. There's little tiny individual single white stitches. And I want those to be a pearl bead. bead. That'd be but better. But the ones that I had are too big. were the too big. So I had to reorder the smaller Boo. petite bead, which... So, hence why it's not quite done. Be earned. But it's darn cl darn close. We're almost there. It's really pretty. But yeah, it's really cool. What is this? I don't know. Yeah. Something attached. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, these are really fun, by the way. Um, I love how Shannon does the blending of her colors. So, it gives them a real good, like, shadow. Um, but, yeah. So, that's that one. Yay. There you go. 
So my second um, Whipco, Whipco, <laughs> Whipco poll. You're not tired. No. Um, was this uh, mill? It was some. It was perforated paper. Oh, is cool. what my theme was mm -hmm. for the month. And so the only thing I have going on perforated paper currently is this, but that's going to change and you'll see in, yeah. So this is a buttons and beads kit. It's from 2021. So it's still re really available. You can totally still get it. Anyways, these, so this see. is, um, oh, I'm going to have to do this. That's all right. So this is where it's, it's at good. currently. So see all those beads on there. Mm -hmm. So, um, Basically, what I worked on this time was I filled in all of this corner right here. So this whole corner is done. The only thing that's left is the beads that go around this guy, which is the grapefruit. The Ooh, pink yeah. grapefruit. The pink one. Yeah. So, um, and I worked on getting like the rind part mm. of the grapefruit in. So I worked on that. But I only really was able to stitch on it twice, so I completed my goal for the month, That's good. which is touching it twice. That's and then awesome. I actually worked on it a little bit more um, right before you came over. Oh, and I cool. finished up that blue teal color in the corner. <clears throat> it was thread chicken, like I've never played before. Oh. <laughs> Because it was literally two stitches left, right? And you and, have, like, and I kept, this much thread? Because, okay, you cannot find <laughs> John James Petites anymore. If you know where to find them, let me know. Because I only use those for this situation. Mm -hmm. Is for a petite, like the petite one for when I need to... I'm playing Thread Chicken and uh -huh. I want to win. Uh -huh. <laughs> because I don't want to do a whole brand new strand for two stitches. Bunk, don't want to do it. <laughs> so... Did you win? I won. <laughs> I won. Barely. It kept coming out of like unthreading. And I'm like, oh. so each time I had to like go in backwards with my needle instead of going with, a, I went in with the eye uh -huh, instead uh -huh, of with, uh -huh. yeah. Have you ever stuck the needle up through the fabric with the eye sticking out and threaded it this way and then just pulled it down? Uh-huh. No. I've done that. <gasps> Thread chicken. Oh. Yeah. You've yeah. got your loose strand, you know, your little bit yeah, of loose. Yeah, and then I had to tie it off, <clears throat> right? So I, and this is not fabric. This is perforated paper. Right, right. So you, it's not as forgiving mm -hmm. as fabric. And if you tear it, you're screwed. You're screwed. And then all of this is worthless. Right. So um, you can see there where I have, oh, you can see. Where it didn't want to actually do it. So I'm going to have to use your thread. Oh, yeah, that's right. It didn't do it. You'll fix it. It's fine. All you have to do is stick the eye I didn't the win and... my thread chicken. Yes, you did. You'll get it. I don't yeah. know what the heck happened here. I'm so confused. Anyway. It could just be part of the tail that you just have to pull back. It could be that push. Cheryl's tired. That could also be. That's probably it. So anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So that is Citrus by... Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Kit, and I'm using kit stuff Awesome. with it. I love it. Do you have any more whips? I don't have any more whips currently. I have one more whip. I, I, have, more. A, I have a tiny bit of haul, but very little. Yeah, I have a little bit of haul too. My well, budget is we. Well, because market's going to come. Okay, so. I'm already broke. My friend Sherry, mm. she had an extra mercantile kit mercantile sampler kit it's the current lori holt sampler or so along and <clears throat> i was like yeah i'll buy it off you sure <laughs> because we didn't get that line at the shop mm -mm. so i and i i kind of just like wrote it off in my mind like i wasn't gonna make that quilt well then it like literally fell in my lap mm -hmm. she's like hey i'm like do you yes. want this I was like, let me ask my husband, but, you know, I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, it was okay. And so there it is. So this is a horrible photo because, you know, tone or save mode or whatever. But this is the idea of the quilt. Well, then it never does the pictures justice. No. Because anyway. this is a computer rendering anyway. Mm -hmm. So I will show you uh, the blocks I have done. Wow, you've done good. I'm behind by two blocks, I think, or one block. She does the sew along every Monday, like releases the blocks, how she does them or whatever instructions on Mondays and Fridays. That is, oh, how stinking cute is that? 
So this is block one. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this. Look at the stitching on the outside. Do you do all that by hand? Mm -hmm. I'll like show you. Stitch? Yeah, I'll show you. All of Cute. them have that. You want me to hold it? No. You can switch them out if you want. There you, go. you can just do that. Oh, I like the weight. Ooh, it's like, it's got weight to it. So it's good. that is because basically what you do is you piece, you piece the block, this block right here. Mm-hmm. And then you have your sew-in interfacing and you use the template ruler that's a circle. Mm -hmm. And then you put that on top according to the way that it should, like, so that it's, it lines up and it's straight. Right, right, right. And that's what turns it into a circle. And then you applique this circle onto the background for, for patch. That is so cute. So this is yep. the second block. <clears throat> yeah, that blanket stitch is really and cute. This cider color, if it's baby poop, puke, or poop color <laughs> in fabric, apparently it's my favorite because every time I have it in a quilt, I'm like, that mustardy. It's, yes, it's a mustard color, but that's not really what it looks like. It's, she calls it cider. Let's just call it, it's cider. It's cider. It does look like cider, apple cider, sure. And I mean, you know, calling the fabric baby poop brown probably wouldn't be as appealing to people. <laughs> Why not? For purchase. It'd be but, so much know, more funner that way. Oh, I know. More fun. <laughs> you like how I, how I went there. Uh -huh. Yeah, for all those people who are like grammar Nazis, they're like, yeah, stop like, it. Oh, my word. Yeah. Anyways. I'm great. I'm so amazing. Okay, so then there's, I'm trying to show you. Wow, you've done there. a lot. Dang, girlfriend. I know. And this is for you. This, this is, is for me. This is a personal quote. This is a quote. Cheryl quote. So each, um, each one I am using a pearl cotton to applique the circle down. Mm -hmm. So I just chose a color that I thought was pretty. And sometimes it takes me all evening with all the balls of pearl cotton laid out on to it. To choose. <laughs> to choose because I'm like, I don't know. It might not look cute. It might no, be weird. Brother. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so this is the maple. What is this? Maple, maple leaf, leaf maple block. Leaf. Okay. And then grandma's quilt. Shoot. Do you remember which one it is? That's puzzle. So I think it's this one. Oh, probably. Yeah. It looks grandma's like it. quilt. And I might be holding this still upside down because she has like an orientation to them. Oh, that's right. Those are so cute. So this one came together in a totally different way than I expected. Oh. But I'm not mad at it. I wouldn't me. I think it's awesome. I love it. I like the little strips of mm -hmm. blue. Yeah, That's me too. Fun. That's great. Yeah, and because like, you know, when you're ordering fabric for a store, you see the fabric swatches and or like the storyboards for them, which isn't even, it's just a computer printing, mm -hmm. right? It's not even the real thing. Like six months to a year in advance. So sometimes you forget what it actually looks like. Yeah. But like with Lori Holt fabric, you never really know what it's going to look like until it shows up because it's all computer renderings and printed on cardstock. Mm -hmm. So you don't see like a swatch of it. And this really one tell. is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. The mercantile line is so beautiful. Love it. So this is the next block. This is called Puzzle. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it uses my favorite flying geese unit in there. That's how you get this part. Mm -hmm. And then this is a half square triangle to make the pinwheel. Cute. I love it so much. <clears throat> and then the one that I finished for my daily 30 today, because I had literally 10 minutes to finish this. Or did I do this yesterday? See, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> what is today? Um, And this is called Duck and Ducklings. And I still need to add the stitching and like applique it on. Okay, so explain to me why that's a duck and ducklings. I don't know. Probably because these this is the duck and then the duckling is following. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to go works with for that's me. it. I, I like it. That's what I'm going to go with because I don't know. It works for me. Because sometimes she renames vintage blocks. Oh, okay. And she renames it to be what fits her theme mm -hmm. or whatever or to make it cute for herself. Like sometimes she'll take... Like a carpenter, she took a carpenter star once and named it something totally different. Oh, cool. And I was like, that's a carpenter star. What? I'm confused. And like, whatever. 
I love it. It's the way that Lori Holt does stuff. So okay, anyways, right. uh, but I thought it'd be fun too to show. Oh, feels good. It's nice and heavy. <laughs> yeah. Quilts but, have a weight. They just, you know. Well, this is a quilt that will never be slept with. Oh, it's just like It's a... always going to be a hung up quilt. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't use my Lori Holt quilts unless they're from like a pre-cut and I intentionally bought the pre-cut to mm -hmm. make a quilt to snuggle in. Mm -hmm. That That's the only time I, I use those. So this is um, a, a Moda mail box that you get. Is it like a PR box? Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Um, oh, look at all your pearl. And these are all the pearl cottons. Oh, it's a mixture so awesome. of like Valdani in here, which I won't use on this quilt because it's not color fast. So satisfying. They right say here. that they're color fast, but they're not. It's a mixture of, see, these ones are all the so DMC good. ones. These ones are some other brand that I don't even know. It's like some Chinese brand I got off Amazon. Oh, hey, these are, works. These are, eight, are great. These are eight weight. Those are awesome. And then all of these are DMC Pearl and they're different counts. There's some that are eight and some that are fives. Mm -hmm. Fives means it's fat. Mm -hmm. It's chunky. And then these are all, they say they're eight. But like if you match this next to a Valdani eight, this is like a 12. So. Oh, it's thinner. It's thinner. Oh, than, interesting. Like, cause this is, <clears throat> this is a Valdani 12. Like. Yeah. See? And then, here. That's even thinner still. That's so cool. So, but there, but this is saying it's an eight. Mm -hmm. You see that? But this is saying it's a 12. And this is hand dyed. So you think it'd actually be fatter because it's, it's absorbed dye. But look, they're like the same mm -hmm. or a little bit. This one's actually a little, a little fatter, but this huh. is meant to be a 12 and this is an eight. So all are not created equal. No. And it's, no. But I mean, you know, whatever, I don't care because they're going to be in the quilt together, but they're not right next to each other where the threads are mixing and together. I don't think anyone's going to take a ruler and And if they measure. do, then they're not your friend anyways. Yeah, so right. I don't really care. <laughs> and if they're going to complain to me about how I use different, different uh, weights of thread in a quilt, I'll just tell them to go kick rocks. It's it fine. doesn't matter. It's fine. So it's that fine. is all the whips I had for this Thanks. month. Fabulous. Okay, so ooh, let me get rid of kind this. Kind of a sad assortment. Not but that's really. Okay. Normally it's like the Cheryl show, but this at least it's like equal <laughs> this time. At least we're both sucking and slacking Ooh, this time. Cheryl show. Oh, I love it. Okay. Sometimes it's the Jeanette show, and sometimes it's the Cheryl show. It works. Okay, so now we're going to talk about our favorite Nashville picks. Mm -hmm. And originally we said three. That didn't happen. Well, how many did you do? I I did, I wrote three, but look, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, And then I have honorable mentions. I just had my favorite, like, top designers, and I, <laughs> I'm so bad. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I did. I just chose what my favorite three, like, I chose my favorite three mm -hmm. to start with. Yeah, that's great. But I can't narrow it down for one Plum Street because, no, because I... And basically getting everything she's releasing except for the deers. Oh, I like the deers. Yeah, literally, I'm getting everything else. Mm -hmm. She yeah. doesn't need to because if you watched on, our video, you will have seen that she got the Plum Street and Shakespeare Peddler collab like months ago. In, and like, June. so that saved you money this it time. It did. I score. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I was like surprised by is that the. Collaboration said it was until June of this year. And so the fact that they're releasing the it to the public I early. I have a theory about that. But it doesn't, I mean, I don't care. I was actually kind of, she, when she sent me the photos of the Plum Street releases mm -hmm. and she said, you have one of these charts already. I'm like, no, I don't. And she was right. I usually am. Show enough. And so, yeah. So saves me money now, even though I had spent it already. <laughs> it's Okay. All right, fine. so I'm going to talk about my, for, and these are not in order of how much I love them mm. or whatever, and I think that there's lots of choice. Let me just say, there are so many choices. There, I think I saw there's 142 exhibitors this year. That's over, a lot. It's over, and okay, and so if you think about it, if each designer only did one chart, which some of them have like 12 
multiple charts. And they haven't even told us all about oh, them all. Oh, man. It's like, like... Like Teresa Kogut, for example. Mm -hmm. She has the ones that she's released, but then she's going to have stuff at market mm -hmm. that she's not sharing yet. And I'm like... I'm already freaking out. I'm like, can you not? Mm. Can you just tell us? Yeah. So anyway, it's anyway, a problem. I have and, a problem. And, and there's quite a few designers that are doing that. And it's like... It's kind of annoying from the shop standpoint because then I'm if I don't get that pro that one product, hey, it's going to be all have, over the social media. If they don't ask for it. Then. Well, people don't know about it. That's true. That's true. They don't know about it, but then it's going to all of a sudden be on all the social media, and then true. it's like, well, shoot, you know, because I mean, we can't buy everything. The store can't <laughs> buy it all. Okay, like as much as I want to, as much as I want to get all the things, we just can't. Can't even right? stitch all the things. We try. I'm just talking about for the shop, just buying for, for the shop mm -hmm. alone. But anyway, for my own personal self, because <laughs> remember, I'm on a modified stitch from stash. So basically what that means is, am I stopping myself from buying new product? No, because that's unrealistic and dumb. <laughs> so <laughs> she knows she'd never be able to do it anyway. No, I would just be going like this. Yeah, she'd just be sulking. Me. Especially knowing that I'm the person that buys all the stuff for market and that I wouldn't be able to buy any of it. And then I just have to kick you until you relented and bought it anyway. So there you go. But I've been pretty good though. Yeah, I agree. So basically what it means is if I didn't already have it in my stash prior to January 1 of this year, mm -hmm. I cannot start it this year. So I have to, anything I buy from market, I cannot just be like squirrel and start it. Mm -hmm. I, I have to wait. So that actually changed the way I looked at the pattern. Like, do I like it enough to wait, to wait a year until to 2025 to start it? Hmm. And I remember even, even my oldest was like, well, do you like it enough to, to wait until 2025 mom? Is it like good enough? And I was like, hell yeah, it is. <laughs> In the cart, it goes. My virtual made-up cart known as my spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty extensive. Okay, well, so go share. Okay, first one. And I'll pop up pictures. Not that you guys haven't already seen these all over social media, but I digress. First one is Plum Street Samplers, and I am really enjoying American Welcome. Mm -hmm. And I am going to do my very utmost best to get the floss packs for said chart. Mm-hmm. Um, they are a color and cotton thread pack. So I'm working on getting those. Oh, yes, please. Because I need that. Mm -hmm. And then um, Nelson. Yes. Because blue skin. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there. if you didn't know last year? No. A couple year, few years, years ago, ago, she has yeah. another one. It's, it's a partner to Nelson is blue skin. Yeah, so. blue skin was his first horse. Mm -hmm. that, And so like on that one, it's like cherry motif. Like, you know, when he was younger. Mm -hmm. And then yep. this one is when he's, I think, a general. Yeah. Something like that. It's awesome. Anyways. It's so good. So that's my first pick, even though it's a designer pick, but. It's all right. But that's. That's okay. It's good. Okay, your turn. You all do right. one. So I, um, well, I also have Plum Street on my list. and Like you also have Nelson. And I also have Nelson. Um, but the other one was the Proverbs 31 sampler. Yeah. I think that's going to be kind of top on my list is that one mm. so i'm really excited it's so pretty mm -hmm. um yeah it's, good. it's, it's very good it actually looks like something you would stitch mm -hmm. yep i'm starting to try and work more towards things that i want to hang in my house that are up all the time yeah and so anything with scripture on it i just yeah. i don't have enough of it and so i love you those. need to look at this one i saw it i saw that and that was i it, but i had submitted my wish list before you can I submit your. That it was on there. I know. You can submit your wish list to me until Thursday, February 29th. which is next week. Okay, leap day. So you can submit it to me. I will already be there. Mm -hmm. We're leaving Thursday, <clears throat> and I will. All, I will take that into account mm -hmm. and do my best. You can even. You can even. I've even had people contact me while I'm at market. You're in line. <laughs> while I'm at market. Cheryl, we need And they're it. like, I must, I just saw this. I must have it. And your girl comes through, okay? Yes, yeah, she does. Throw her elbows. I know. <laughs> okay, so my, the next one that I 
ha it was an immediate shoom I must have mm -hmm. was Jeanette Douglas. She is getting all my money this year, by the way, just so you know. I shoomed too. Shoomed. Mm -hmm. So much shooming happened. <laughs> shooming. <laughs> Okay, so I the the ones that I'm in very much interested in and um, I will be buying <laughs> is Heart and Home, mm -hmm. along with the embellishment thread pack, because that's one of the four red houses. Right? Yes, yes. And I'll post, like I said, I'll post pictures. And then the other one was both of the boxes, mm -hmm. and we already have the Cabernet Mary boxes. If you are interested in the Jeanette Douglas items. And or if you're interested in the boxes themselves, you can pre-order them through our shop. They are available on our website. Um, the 2024 Cross Stitch Market tab on our website has them on there. And you, there's two colors. There's Walnut, which is the ones that the color that Jeanette uses, not that Jeanette, <laughs> Jeanette Douglas uses on her boxes. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's also a cherry color. I chose cherry because I thought it was prettier. It's really pretty. So, um both of the boxes that she's releasing this year, which is um, Garden Box and Shepherd's Box. Mm -hmm. Need. Mm -hmm. Needed it yesterday. <laughs> and I and that was the one that my oldest was like, are you sure you can wait to start it? And I'm like, I'm going to have to, son. <laughs> I made my rules and I can break them anytime I want to, but that doesn't mean I'm going to. Because once I rules. break the rule, it's a free-for-all. <laughs> Okay. Stand strong, friend. Stand strong. Yeah, your turn. Okay. Your turn. So, um, let's see. Um, I do that one. Just which one? This one? Mm -hmm. This one? Okay. Um, I have been collecting all of the um heart and hand tiny towns. Yes. And so um that was top on my list too. Yeah. Um, was the tiny towns. So last year you and I bought the at any the, at town. That, the any town tiny, tiny town. town. That was an exclusive through keepsake. At the time. Yeah. And so now she's releasing that one and then a more any town. Any town. It has a pizza shop and a freaking quilt shop on it. It's so cute. Like, and then the I have a total awesome idea about how to do it too. I'll tell you. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, and then the other one is the Frosty. I freaked out over the Frosty. Everyone one. freaked out about the Frosty one. The Frosty Everybody. Tiny Town. It is I so had stinking cute. That it's added, all blues and... Oh. Well, it's got snowmen on and it. And snowmen and... Are you getting the frill? Yeah. Duh. Right there. Did you tell me about the frill? Yes, it's on my list. It said Frosty, oh. Tiny Town, and Frosty Frill. Okay. I'm sure I wrote it down. If not, don't worry about it. No, I know I did. I'm not worried about it. So if yeah. it was on there, I wrote it down. So there, and I had to tell you, it's so hard to choose the things because there's so many. Yeah. It's just, it's like overwhelming almost how many. You have no idea what you're in for. Awesome designers have new stuff. Yeah. I just can't. I can't sit Because when you see them in person, it's like when you go into a cross stitch store that has all the models, <laughs> like Shepherd's Bush or whatever, and they have every model that's ever existed ever in time. I just want to walk around and go, oh. Like you can walk <laughs> around in there until you faint from hunger and thirst <laughs> because there's so much to look at. Yep. And they change out their models. They change <clears throat> out They change out their displays all the time. So many. Anyways. So many. Something anyway. to strive for. Anyway, okay, so you put Frosty any Frosty Tiny Town and Frill and more Any Town Tiny Town. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my last one is by New York Dreamer, and it's yes. called Jesus the True Vine. I love that one. And, and I forgot. I'll put a picture. Put it on my list, but it's awesome. I love it. In fact, I have to buy that one when I'm there or put it on my list or something because. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I saw that and I was like, I have never seen a more beautiful chart. It was really life. awesome. It was the colors and the way that she composed it together to be in one um, design. I just really enjoyed it. So Sorry. I um, I have that on my list, Yay. like to actually purchase. So, mm -hmm. um, so those are the my top three but i also have a list of oh, wait, honorable on. I got, mentions i got one more i know oh, okay sorry and these are my honorable mentions because i was trying to stay within our rules but then i was like that's bunk <laughs> <laughs> and unrealistic so why would we do that <laughs> lame so okay so what's your what's your my last one of course is no you have two. Oh, that's kind of like an honorable and that doesn't even really count that was just on my list of what i was buying oh okay. but anyway but my last one is um teresa Kogut. Mm. she like overwhelmed the world she it? overwhelmed you literally okay she's like so has teresa like posted her stuff so has hey so has so has she given you the e <laughs> is the email there like 
I she's can't give you my list until I have her things. Oh, uh, she's so, you're ridiculous. Anyway, I wasn't quite that obsessive, but I was very excited when she was she, going like this. I was kind of like, anyway, I was very excited when she released her yes. stuff. Well, so. very beautiful um, samplers. So. Yeah, and she's got the Serenity, um, which yes. I love, and then um, And God Saw mm -hmm. was really pretty. And then the Hello Spring book. I don't even know all the Tarks that are in there, but there was the two. One was Ren. Ren? One I'll of them has a little bluebird on. Anyway, it's really cute. Yeah. So, and one of them you've already started because it was a Patreon. Mm -hmm. So that That's you're true. almost done with it. You literally have like, you need to bring that one as your stitch for the plane so you can finish it and then. Show oh, it to good her. idea. Okay, I'll do that. Score. We're there. Thumbs yep. up. Thumbs up. Okay, another honorable honorable mention that I have is Dirty Annie Southern Style. Proverbs 31, 19. Mm -hmm. She's doing a whole series of Proverbs charts, and I am a model stitcher for 31, 13. But the one oh, that she know. has is, which is, like, kind of funny that Plum Street is releasing a the, 31. The 31 sampler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's 31, 13, mm -hmm. which is the one that I'm stitching for Annie. But anyways, I digress. So the one that she is releasing this time is 31, 19, and she's, um, the stitcher is holding, like, one of those, like, long skinny like cone things that you wind I don't even know what it's freaking called I'm terrible <laughs> <laughs> I think Annie has a like a description of what the item is because when she was designing it she's like what does this look like I'm like not what you think it does and then so she had to redesign it it was kind of a funny story that we had like banter back oh, and forth hilarious. about it um all the Ferroni Ritter charts are super cute so I haven't seen any of those they're on our social media I know. I just fail. She, okay. In all fairness, she's been avoiding social media since February 1st because she's been trying to not look at everything. So she doesn't go, I need everything. That's exactly why. So I have intentionally kind of. So now, my now eyes. you can look cause you've given me your list. So anyway, um, thistles, hello spring. It's like a blue barn oh, it's with so a cute. bunch of sheepies mm -hmm. in the front. That That's also really on our social media. And Summer House Stitchworks, her Fragments in Time for 2024. Oh, yes. They're yes. amazing. Yep. I don't know if I'm going to buy them, but I love them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. those are the... Those, those are, are always a good series, too, because they're mm -hmm. little. Yeah. The so Fragments in Time, they're small. And even if you just need, like, a small, mm -hmm. you know, like, and you just want to do a little pillow or have a doble full of them. Mm -hmm. But I think it's all going to be houses or some form of a building. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the whole series is going to be yep, she I hasn't said exactly what it's going to be like the whole series theme mm -hmm. um sometimes you kind of can guess based off the first two charts like what the whole theme is going to be like one of them was all like sea like sea yeah, time, was a few like years sea ago. mariner things mm -hmm. or whatever so anyway this past this one this year i think was like a forest yeah it was a forest. german forest theme. yeah it's really pretty yeah and i like the color she used mm-hmm Okay, so those are all of our favorites that we are enjoying. Mm -hmm. She also has Spring Quaker by Primrose Cottage, mm -hmm. which is purple. It's purple. It's really pretty. And it kind of goes along with my haul. So, did you buy? Mm. Okay. So, okay, so haul. Let's talk about haul. Speaking of haul, show us your haul. Haul. Uh, haul, haul. Haul, well, haul, haul. So, one of them is, um, hold on. One moment, please. Okay, here it is. Okay. Anyways, so I um I started um <clears throat> actually I haven't started. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh huh. Okay. Anyway, I have kitted started kitting up hometown by Teresa Coget. Okay, what is going on? What is what? Nothing. Is there a story? Do you have something to share? I think it's hilarious that you're starting that. No, no, no. It's not, I'm not starting it. I just ki I'm sure. kidding it. Okay, so she's kidding it. I think it's hilarious. You want to know why it's hilarious? At least it's a two-year one, so you're you actually have a fighting chance of finishing it. <laughs> I would say something unkind, but that wouldn't be nice. I never finish anything, <laughs> so it's like coffee pot, right? Anyway, anyway. But so what happened to the one from last year? I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> Who is the pot calling the kettle black here, miss? I'm going to start and only do 10 stitches and then put it away for a year. So Me? Uh-huh. That would be her. So anyway. I just think it's funny, though, because, like, I, I saw that she had this new Patreon, like, yes. thing. And I was like, 
<laughs> I haven't heard a peep out of Jeanette about this. I wonder if she's okay. just keeping this secret because she doesn't want to hear me complain right now, about it. Right now, I'm just kidding it because, again, it's a two-year commitment for this guy. It's a so big one. She's got the first two patterns. Oh, my God. Are out. It's 356 stitches long. It's tall. It's long. Yo. And it's awesome. And so I, I, all I did, in fact, this is just so you know, too. Is it DMC? It's all DMC. Well, at least there's that. So here's the palette. Very Teresa Cogity. Yeah. It's very yummy, and I love it. I love the houses, and We're, it's like a big village. Are you going to so do, cool. like, vintage country mocha or something? Or are Actually, you going to go splurge? You know what? No, I think I picked, like, a something boring, like lamb's wool or... We'll talk. Something. Anyway, right now, I haven't even picked my That's fabric. the first one, but they have the second one. Has part already, two. Part two has been released, I haven't, right? I didn't print that part yet. I, I, I'm sorry. I take it back. I printed the pattern. I didn't print the... The recover. The recover. Thing. So she's got this one right here is the next part in that chart. But anyway, so I, I'm... And I'm, for the record, just so we all know, she knows I'm playing. Oh, of course. It's and that right. I love her anyway. That's right. And we harass each other. Yeah. That, I mean, like are you siblings. even friends if you don't harass your friends? Not... If you can't tease your friends, then... Are you even friends? Yeah. So, yeah. It's Just like, saying. It's like having a little sister. I never had a sister. Well, I'm basically like your sister. You are. Yeah. Yay. So, anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. Don't start crying. I'm smack you. So, yes. I have kitted it. I'm actually... I should say, I am in the process of... It's all of... houses. Look at... Look at all... Look, it's house-shaped. All these houses are... Mm -hmm. They all look salt boxy. They hmm. are. Hmm. Maybe she'll release it in 2026, and then maybe I can get my hands on this. Maybe, possibly. It's pretty awesome. It might be one that I actually finish of Teresa Kogut. So, yeah, I was super excited about it. And I'm really grateful, actually, that it's two years. Yeah. Because it gives me an opportunity to, to actually work on it. Because up. this one has flame fingers. If she gets inspired and she is like, I am feeling this stitch, she goes fast. I can stitch pretty quick. If yeah. I, if I actually am If she's focused. interested in it and is like feeling herself mm -hmm. on that, then she will just be like. Yeah. Especially if I want to finish. Yeah. Like if I'm like, like this one here, I'm bummed that I, I wanted to get it done before today. And I. Well, we we've had, we have life happening big time. Life happens. Okay. And I have one more haul, but go ahead. Okay. So, um, the third house in the fabulous house series came out. It's called Greenhouse, which I am glad that I guessed correctly that it was a plant greenhouse, not like a house that's green. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I am switching out two colors oh, for yeah. Belle Swaz. So this is the color palette. Ooh, those are yummy. So these are the colors. And then... Um, the other two, the two colors I switched out because this one does not have any fancy floss in it. Mm -hmm. It's only um, DMCs. <clears throat> so I switched out 3821 for mango. Ooh, that's a good yellow. Yeah, it's like that in that I daffodil, that. I bet. Yes, yes. Oh, and so then um, 3722, I changed out for berry cobbler. That's really cool. So there's a little bit of something in it because I'm doing that with all of these. Mm -hmm. I don't know when the hell I'm going to start this. Right now, I just but want to... I'm just getting the things for it and then figuring <clears> stuff <throat> out later. Yep, that's good. I'm hoping to finish Santa's house before Hobbit house comes out. Because I know yes. as soon as Hobbit house comes out... It's... Yeah, you're it's done. done. You're done for. You're almost You're almost done, though. It is. I just have to finish <clears> the actual house. I have a feeling that, like, I... That one is coming out not this not April. in April so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to ask people at at market release how many people want the the hobbit house so oh. I can make sure I get enough in the shop because everyone and their mom wants that freaking stitch I know I do that's why I put myself on the auto uh -huh. at our own store Me too. <laughs> so I can Me get too. it like I don't care about any of the other ones because no, I'm just I like, do. I, they're all really cute I, <clears throat> I had to have them yep. all. like the barn house I can't wait anyway so that's that one. You have one more? I have oh. one more. Yep, okay. one more. And the only reason why I decided to just bite the bullet and do it is because the fabric that I wanted to stitch it on was almost gone in the store. And so I just decided to, oh. I just decided to do it. Anyway, so I'm working on these, um, the Quakers by uh, Primrose Cottage. So she's got a whole series of them. Um, and oh, Jeanette. they're monochromatic. So they're all one. Not always. 
Well, most of them. She's. I know that there's there's a B one that's not the B one that's not, and the, the, the patriotic is one is not. not. So not all of them are, but these ones are. And then the new mm -hmm. one, the Spring Quaker, is lavender. Is that what that's for? Mm hmm. Mm. And so I knew that I wanted to stitch them in silk because for these ones at least they're monochromatic. And so I got. Um, they're all stitched on twenty eight count. And so. Oh, you're a turd. Uh, sorry. Anyway, so this I didn't get any of that fabric. It was gone before I could. I know it. it was. This is all that was left. So we at our store, we are uh, part of the Fabric of the Month Club from Atomic Ranch, mm -hmm. and we just got our fabric that for this month today, mm -hmm. and it's already been some of it's almost sold out. Yeah. Already, so this but... was from last month. Which go is on our website if you're interested. vanilla cream, and so I want to do all of these in silks, oh, and so yeah. like here. So what's so what is it that no so this christmas one? quaker is gonna be cranberry oh oh that's delightful and then oh are you gonna stitch it with one thread or are you gonna stitch with two i'll threads? stitch with two yeah and so then this is autumn quaker and so i picked autumn breeze oh it's gonna be so pretty Jeanette. so okay really do fun. you want to hear something really fun i do i do what if on this pumpkin what if you stitch just the pumpkin and teal Oh, yeah. That would be cute. Look at me making extra yeah. work for you. Oh, and here. Here, I'll st I'm going to steal it. Okay. Here's, like, here's this one. That's the Bee Quaker. And that one, yeah. Honey Bee Quaker. Um, and this I one, that's, like, from Hive Rules and, like, all of that whole theme that mm -hmm. they had, like, two years ago. Yeah. And so, um, I don't have the, the silks for those yet. But um, here is, this is the Valentine's Day one. So, there's Valentine's Day. And so, I'm using, what is this one? Watermelon. Ooh, I like. Which is cool. I like that. And so the new one, that's lavender. You forgot one. This is winter Oh, sorry, Quaker. that's winter. Winter Quaker. And so here's the winter one. So oh, this is Ocean, Ocean Tide. Tide. Jinx, you owe me a Coca-Cola. Not that I drink Coca-Cola So anymore. And so here's Spring Violet. I figured it's a Spring Quaker. So it's Spring it's spring Violet. It's and purple. it's and it's a it's done in purples. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought that was really pretty. The the thing about that one is they're not allowing shops to pre-order that chart. So that's what she's doing first thing Friday is going and getting Hopefully. all of all of those <clears throat> charts that because I was like able to pre-order the regular stuff, but not the Spring Quaker. So that's what you're going to be doing. Yeah. So it'll be fine. We'll do our best to get those it's charts. Be fine. But anyway, so I decided <laughs> for this one I needed to grab the fabric before it was completely yeah. gone. I think um, we only have forty count left um i think we have up it's like a fat quarter of or something 32 count or something anyway it was a good color yeah so so this is um this was something that arrived when my husband was away at a funeral mm. during this whole time frame that's been market time anyways so this is a hundred percent stuff from lindy stitch's fault <laughs> Like a million percent her fault. Mm -hmm. So this is an RTO kit. It's called Red Troublemakers. Cute. And I put it in the cart at on Amazon just so I wouldn't forget. And then this showed up while my husband was gone as like a little present because he and it Aww. showed up like on the day that I was like starting to twitch because I hadn't had a break. You know, it was the perfect day for you to get a treat. So I got this little treat in the mail. That is super cute. And so then I asked my husband, I go, so because it was a gift, does that count as like my stitch from stash thing? Like since it's not something I had, but it was a gift, can I start it still? And he's like, they're your rules. You, right? you choose. And I'm like, <laughs> Like, I need you to just say, yeah, you can start it. Like, that's what I need. Mm -hmm. Anyway. The rules are there ain't no rules. <laughs> Red Troublemakers. It's an that's RTO really kit. Yeah, I thought this was so freaking adorbs. And it comes cute. with everything. Look at that color. All those colors in yep, there. Yep, that's really cute. It's and titties. it uses DMC threads. So if I run out, I can always get more. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And it's kit fabric, which I think is 14 count, which is kind of bunk i'm probably gonna switch that out for like a 32 count mm -hmm. or something like that just because i don't know it doesn't really matter i just don't want it to be so freaking big 
It will be big. Yeah, because this is like... That's, count. that's in centimeters. That's metric. <laughs> I'm American, okay? I don't do metric. So maybe 16 count or something, so it's still Ada, mm -hmm. you know? But a little smaller. Yeah, so It'll anyway. Still be good. Isn't that cute? I love it. Very much so. Um, do you have any more haul? I have one I more haul. I got nothing. I have one more haul. Because I'm extra. Okay. So, oh, yes. uh, Lola Boutique, who, I, I'm a quilter. Hi, I'm a quilter. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a quilter that cross stitches. And Lola Boutique just released their line. It just shipped to shops and we have it at our store. And so I shoomed this as soon as Maggie told me. She's like, hey, these kits are ready. I'm like, cool buying it now mm -hmm. i went online on my own computer at home oh into the register <laughs> and bought my own kit and called her and i said hey i bought this go put it aside go put it away yeah because i didn't want someone else to come in and buy it <clears throat> i actually what is really this kit? want this kit what is this kit it's this kit it's called sweetland and it uses a layer cake a little bit of yardage and the panel i like that it's it's jeanette <clears throat> flavored it it's, is simple it is very easy to piece this mm -hmm. would take if i actually sat there and did it and i had i didn't have to make meals for kids or something <laughs> you know be a mom or whatever like take i could what, get this days? done i could get it done in a day there's like i looked at it and i'm like this is not hard so this is the panel sweet land of liberty yeah yeah and oh, the um, color palette is so pretty it's so pretty and i just love it so much so yeah, so we have this whole line at the shop, and <laughs> bless you. Excuse me. Sorry. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so I I shoomed this as fast as heavenly possible because I needed it in my life. And then there's also this other kit that I want that is I don't even know what it's called. It's like Liberty or something like that. It's the one that looks like fireworks. I'll put oh, a picture. Oh yes. And I it's want gray in the background, or you can have it be blue, a blue mm -hmm. background, really either pretty. way. And um, when my husband saw that, because I showed him the, the catalog from Moda, he's like, "What's that?" And I'm like, "Why?" And he's like, "I like it." <laughs> and I'm like, "Like it enough for me to spend money and buy can the I kit?" Buy it? And he's like, "Maybe." Maybe. <laughs> and I'm like, "Which is code for yes." I love that. I love so, it. He's so supportive. He really is. It's awesome. Well, yeah, he's supportive because he gets a quilt in the end. That's true. That's true. Good point. Anyway, all right. so that's all I have for my haul. Mm -hmm. Me too. Plans are Whipgo and market things, like mm -hmm. dealing with market and catch up. After we return from market, I am catching up on everything. I am just, it's just, my life turns into market everything in February. I actually block out and write at the top of my book of days market prep above February. Because that's all you have time that's to do. That's all I have time to do really. Yeah. Like I, that's why I'm not even showing you my book of days because it's bunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. It's okay. After um, next week it's it'll yeah, be good. After the party then I'll be able to like fully catch up on things. But this is a plan. I'm going to start this. Cute. Because mm -hmm. I already had it. See? Hooray. I'm staying in my budget. You are staying in your budget. For my budget. In my rules. My rules that I made up. See, I already have it on the key snap. Oh, you're all ready, ready to go. Ready to go. Mm-hmm. I even have all my threads sorted and on a card. Wow. I did this while I was waiting for you to awesome. come. And I even have my, my working copy. She's ready to go. I'm ready to go. So I don't even know. I other than whip go, <clears throat> but we don't know what the numbers are for March yet. So yeah, I won't. Um, we won't know that till the twenty fifth. So I've, I've got a couple in the works. I didn't even bring my plans with me because that's okay. It, it might is, change, it, and that's exactly why. <laughs> I'm like, I really don't know what my plans are right now. So do you want to talk about your shop update, like what's going on with your shop, so that people yeah. Are, so know? and I have to post an update on my Etsy shop. Um, <clears throat> if you guys watched our last video, I mentioned that we're moving. Um, we're not leaving the state. We're moving a couple miles away. Um, from where they currently From live. where we currently live. Yeah. So we're staying put. Yeah. But it's still a complete ordeal. And it's like a complete upheaval at the moment. It was unexpected and unexpected, but. Yeah, so. It's a great opportunity. Yeah. So long story short, um, we're helping, we helped my mother-in-law move out of the house that we'll be moving into. 
And that was, you know, she did so much of the work, but it took time for her to go through all the things and yeah. whatnot. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> over the weekend, we went and cleaned out the house, um, finished removing all the, what was left over there. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, like no, cleaned. Mm -hmm, and cleaned. So then it's not, not other people's dirtiness. Like other people's germs. It just feels kind of nice when you, you know, move into a new place that's fresh. It's and clean. clean. And, mm -hmm. Well, because, you know, even if she's a clean person, you still have her hair might be there right you know like you just want to clean it so yeah. that it's a fresh clean slate vacuumed everything um scrub the floors clean the bathrooms and all that stuff and yeah. so it's ready for us to move in hopefully the weekend after we get back from market is the plan to start trickling. i thought they were gonna do it when you were in nashville they're gonna move some of the stuff oh, but the okay. big like furniture and all of that we'll do that in a weekend um, so that hopefully once we get back, we can move the big stuff. So anyway, hence why Etsy is still closed because I don't have, she doesn't a, have anywhere to sew. I have nowhere to sew. Um, and it's taken longer than I was expecting. Um, in fact, I was supposed to go to, um, Stitch West in April. Yeah. And as I, a vendor. As a vendor. And I had to cancel my spot because I have no time. I, I can't sew right now. So I apologize for those of you. I've gotten some emails and messages. Are you coming back? And absolutely. Um, in fact, I'll be going to Stitch West in October. Yeah. So we're just kind of pushing up everything out a little way. So I appreciate everyone's patience and your support and all of that. I'm so grateful. Um, it wasn't exactly what we were planning to be doing right now, but it's what we're doing. So we're making the best of it. And, um, once we get in and settled, it'll be good. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm excited. I, um, I'll have an official sewing room. Um, but you have one now it'll be well <clears throat> i'm also sharing it as an office oh that's true so it's kind of a partial so um, this one will be your own space mm -hmm. it'll be my own cool. space, which is fine um and so i'm excited to get started i've got new things planned i've got more bags to make and totes and all kinds of stuff so mm -hmm. thank you for your patience um and i apologize for the delay um believe me like i said it's taken a lot longer than i was expecting but yeah here we are this yeah. is what we're doing, and so now we're focusing on other things. So we're not going to say a date that she'll be up and running because we don't know yet. I can't promise. Yeah, we can't promise. And that. right now I don't have any product to even put in there because I haven't been able to sew. So I've got nothing new um, currently, um, which is a bummer because now I feel like I'm behind. So but You're not behind. What are you going to do? You're fine. So Everyone, anyway. give yourself grace. You're in the <laughs> middle of a move, a move. Anybody who's ever moved ever knows that moves suck. Yeah. And that they t always take longer than you think they, yeah, do. they do. Yeah. So. so, and since we're essentially moving twice. Yeah. Because we're moving someone out and then we're moving ourselves in and then we have to move ourselves out of our other house. And anyway, yeah. it's a whole, it's a whole. Yeah. You're moving, you're moving your mother-in-law out so you can move in, but you have to move yourself out to move into the other place. <laughs> exactly. And then you have to clean that house to get it ready. Oh, for other people. For tenants. Are, yeah. That are going to move in. Yeah. So anyway, it's a thing. And I've got two. <laughs> I've got two kids graduating this year. I have two seniors, a senior in college and a senior in high school. And so we're trying to get through the end of the school year too, because that's creeping up on us also. It's crazy. She's gonna. She's already a senior? Yeah. What? I know. How did that happen? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, it's been busy, but we're good and we're pushing forward and here we are. Yes. Okay. So... Um, now, if you stuck with us this long, that means that you actually watch our videos, which is And awesome. we love you. And we love you. So thank you. <laughs> um, but we have a giveaway to announce. So what does what is this giveaway? This giveaway is because we have subscribers like you who <laughs> watch our videos and tell us that you actually enjoy watching our videos, which is why we still make them. <laughs> and so we also have more subscribers now, which mm -hmm. is great. So thank you for all those that subscribed and enjoy our content and our shenanigans and our me acting like an idiot all the time. You do not. Um, but yeah, so we're going to celebrate our one year anniversary being on floss tube by having a giveaway. Hooray. We don't have anything here for that because we're getting stuff at market. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. So what we're going to do is we're going to have bundles. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a Cheryl themed bundle. So like, Think of the things that I stitch, the things I talked about in my favorites, even. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are interested in a bundle that is either Jeanette themed mm -hmm. or I themed, you're going to say one of two things in your comment. 
and then I will draw a comment. I will check to make sure you're subscribed. So the one thing too that's hard is if you are not pub a public subscriber, I can't see you. Mm. So if you pop up as the person and I can't see that you're subscribed, I, I can't confirm that you're subscribed. So I have oh, to draw gotcha. another number. So it's beneficial to even like show who your subscribers are just for for the people that follow you if you enter giveaways because then we can actually see that mm -hmm. you that you are a subscriber yep. especially when it's a subscriber giveaway you know what i mean <laughs> to reward the people that are subscribed to us right that makes sense so if you want a jeanette theme bundle which again we're not telling you what it is because we don't even know <laughs> like it's a surprise it's a surprise to both of us <laughs> it's a surprise to everyone mm -hmm. so if you want a jeanette theme you are going to use the numeral one in your comment. Okay. It doesn't have to be some fancy like comment using it. You could even just say, I enjoyed your video one. <laughs> you so can original. Yeah, I know. It's great. <laughs> if you want a Cheryl themed bundle, you're going to use the numeral two. Okay. You can do one space two if you want to enter for both. That, yeah. Because if you do one, two, then it's 12, not And that's not a one. number well, that it, we're using for this. <laughs> I was going to say that is a number. It is a number, well, but not one we're using Not the one we're using today. Anyway. Yes. So <laughs> if you want a Jeanette theme bundle from Market, it'll be like new releases or things from Market. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, they sell everything there. They sell project bags. They sell scissors. They sell no charts. They sell pins. I'm they not sell buying project bags. I make my own bags. I know that. Just kidding. <laughs> but they also have like scissor fobs and they have like all sorts of like anything that is it's a needlework market. So anything that fits mm -hmm. under that umbrella, including is fabric, is there. Is there. So like trims for finishing, That's like true. all kinds of stuff. So you never know what we're going to bring home. So if I you, don't even know what I'm going to bring home. I have no clue. <laughs> it, that's probably going to be, we're going to be keeping our eye out when we're going in from room to room mm -hmm. kind of deal. So anyway. It's going to be good. Yeah. And we're not setting like a, an amount theme or amount cap or it's only going to be this much money worth of stuff. Like we're not, that's not what we're doing. It's whatever we think we want to give our subscriber. That's what we're choosing be for great. our bundle. And so they're going to be similarly matched in amount, but not the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. That's boring. <laughs> Are we boring? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think we're boring. Anyways. I can be. Mm, I don't think so. Did I just lie? I think you did. Mm. I don't think it's possible for you to be boring. <sighs> well, that's because you're my friend. <laughs> okay. I still don't think you could be boring. <laughs> okay. So for Jeanette's bundle... <laughs> Um, on this, <laughs> on this video, you're going to comment, be subscribed. Do not use the word giveaway, giveaway or free or whatever. Use the number one for mm -hmm. Jeanette, number two for me. And if you want to enter for both because you don't care, you just think it's going to be amazing to get free swag, then one space two. There you go. Okay. And that, that's it. And we won't see you until, oh, well, Announce our winner in our market update video, which will be after our market the release 16th party. of March. March. Yeah, so it'll be after that date. <clears throat> so it'll either be... It'll be a few weeks before we see you guys again. But yeah. yeah. We'll have a lot to share. <laughs> a lot. You know that that um, emoji that's like the flying money? <laughs> yes. That's her favorite emoji right now. Yes. Yeah. It's like my money just flying. Or away. the gif of the little girl, like from that old show, throwing money out the window. Uh -huh. That's me. That's her. Yeah, I'm just. just but my money my just money. flies away. Yeah, just. Take or my like money. the one from um, Futureland, like just shut up and take my money. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's just what market is, right? Just take my money. Yeah. I don't even care. Just yeah. take it. Just take it. It's. Yeah. I can't take it with me anyway, so I'm gonna spend it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. All right, so that's all we got. All but, right, that's um, it. Yeah, so if you are interested in, in, in entering, do the things yep. on this video, and we'll see you after market. Yeah, thanks for hanging with us, yeah. and we'll see you next time. Yeah, bye. bye.